My name is Josh Babel. Uh, we're at the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike, just I believe east of Greasewood in Pennsylvania. Uh, this turnpike, um, I, like it, the name suggests, it's an abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike, but it used to be a railroad. Um, never was actually used as a railroad, but was built to be one, and they use it for Pennsylvania Highway. Um, it was cheaper to expand the interstate instead of digging through this tunnel, making it wider. So that's kind of where this is, where this is at. And we're just going to explore, um, see what we can see, see if there's some animals. It's a pretty interesting site. How many times do you think you've been here? Over 40. Awesome. Yeah. AJ. Hi, I'm AJ. I work with Aaron Capoli over at IUP. Um, it's my first time here. It's pretty exciting. Never done anything like this. Uh, what else do I talk about? <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? What are your thoughts on the on the tunnel so far? Before we go into it, like leading up to it, I mean, what like overall? What's your experience been? I wasn't really expecting how much history could be here. Um, I'm a big history buff, so this is pretty interesting getting to walk through this. Uh, yeah, this was what? used for a for a movie prop for a movie called The Road with I'm gonna say his name wrong, Viggo Morton scene. I, I don't know. The guy who played Aragorn, Lord of the Rings. Um, so I think two movies have been filmed here, and the military has used this for training, according to Wikipedia. But yeah, it's like 6,200 some feet long. So if you come here in the day, you don't see the other side until you get to a certain spot. I want to say like 10% of the way in, you can start seeing the top of the light of the end of the tunnel because it's not perfectly straight. There's definitely like a hump in the middle of it part way through. All right, so guys. There's, there's two tunnels. So we're in between uh, to the start of the, the band of Pennsylvania Turnpike. It's like two miles and you have a tunnel and I don't know how many miles, and then you have this tunnel, and then there's a couple more miles, and you get to the end. So right kind of in the middle of the whole thing. That ran on this side the whole entire length, and they, I, they had a service cart. I'm, I'm guessing, but there's definitely a track up there. I'm surprised none of this is like stolen, all dragged out. And you can see like the smooth concrete and everything, so I'm guessing when they're blasting this, and they were making it for a railroad. They wouldn't have made it that nice until they decided to make it a highway. You said your dad remembers this, Aaron? Um, I know the pastor at my church drove through this when it was still a road. So it's been like over 40 years, right? And like when you're up top and you're talking, all of a sudden it sounds like your mouth is right beside your ear because the tunnel gets so narrow and it's just in the right spot. And, and it, when you hear, um, or like when you think of an echo, like echo, 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 it's like instant. You're talking and it's already by your ear and you hear the very pitch of your own voice. Yeah, there you go. So AJ's got a fat max. Yeah. Oh wow, that's really far. Yeah, it might even be close to the end. No. You don't think? Nah. You can barely, uh, I guess you can see the end down there. Yeah, I gotta get a spotlight. So out of a scale of one to 10, Josh and AJ, where do you think this stands, like for how bright it is? What was this, a thousand lumens? It's um, 22. 22. 2200? Mine's just like an immediate wide. I don't know, I mean, it's the, it's the brightest spotlight I've seen. I know that, um, you can find some online that are ridiculous, but then, you know, the battery lasts five minutes. So, nobody wants to give it a number here? I, I'd give like an eight. Yeah, so we just know there's, there's better, but it's hard to find them. Like you're gonna have to pay 300 bucks for one. Remember, one of these I've had for three years. Yeah. So durability is a I say real like for thing. what people do, like what we do, that's a, that's a 10, because it's realistic. You're not going to go and spend hundreds of dollars on a spotlight to use one time. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of a name. True light or something? Uh, there's, Surefire's are like, yeah, Surefire for like pistol lights, that's insane. Stream lights are too. If you're doing a hike like this, that light will last like two or three hours on high. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like it's actually like useful instead of just yeah. It, it'd be funny to get one of those expensive lights just to shine one time, but that's it. It's just funny. 
it's not practical. Well, it'd bright up like a, like daylight, pretty much. Think about it, Aaron. Like we're we're the generation that will see this not be accessible. Like this will come down. I mean, it's always wet in here. Yeah. It's it's wet whenever it's January. Like when you get this far in, it's no longer frozen. Just the entrances. And and when we get to the end of the tunnel on the left side, you'll hear water running. And it's always water running. The water down there is insane. Sounds like somebody's like. Yeah, that's coming from up top. There's like, if I can remember correctly, that like really nice smooth concrete is kind of cracked and water's coming through there and then running down. Yeah, it's about, it's about what do you think, Maria? Yeah. You've been here like a lot too. Maria has, yeah. You've been here like 10 times. She's gone up to the tunnel, I think, at least twice. I think you went to the top. Is that what you mean, like to yeah, the top? Yeah, I remember yeah. her and Anna going to the top. You know, whatever you and Maria get for footage, um, you know, if it works out, I can add it in. What's that? About that part, so. It's just a pain to walk up because you're you're like this. <laughs> there's um some of them are like there's like steps like not steps a ladder that goes down. We'll try to find one. Aaron can army crawl to the end. What's that? You can army crawl to the end inside the tunnel. That's unbelievable. That'd be there's so a, gross. Oh my God. There's a yeah there's a tunnel beneath us above us and one we're on. I bet you a pot. Yeah, there is a bike tire. So where's the... Oh. And I wanted Mexican food today, Hannah. Aaron, the worst one was with your... We were with your brother in the winter. And like, there was definitely people here, but then there wasn't. And we got to the end and they should have been down there for footsteps and stuff in the snow and there wasn't. Remember that? It was, But it was really late. There's been a few times we've been here. It's still... Can we see the end? Right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the end. Down there, way down there though. So how long is this tunnel? I think it's 6,200 feet, I'd have to look. It's like a mile and change, right? Yeah. And there's a second one or is it just? We're in the second one. Yeah, the first, it's just in order of where the feet, yeah, yeah. That's a new one. Oh, that's definitely yeah. new All right guys, stand in front of it. This could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Somebody's giving us free advertising. Get closer, AJ. He doesn't have a disease, I promise. Here we go. You hear the crickets at the end? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because you can't really get it on the go. This might be the biggest female we've ever seen out here. She's eating the ants. The moth wants to eat, go in my mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Specific species of wolf spider. Actually, my frogs and toads eat wolf spiders in the wild. It's a big one too. So we're starting to already see some good wildlife. Nice shot of him too. Surprising that he has his whole tail. That's a beautiful shot. It's another female.
Yeah. So AJ, there's a there's a oh, there's a ceiling here, right? There's a tunnel within the tunnel. There's a maintenance shaft that goes the entire length of the tunnel. So my issue is well, we survived, Aaron. Yeah. Stay tuned. Go subscribe, share, like. Wild. <laughs> it hasn't even been 20 seconds, you guys. <laughs> I'm not you saw a Bigfoot speaking. back there, too. You saw a Bigfoot? Yeah. All right, guys. I don't think they can pull this off, so <laughs> I'm going to have to do this at the end. It's okay. I do this sometimes with Ben. But we had a really awesome adventure. This is the second hiking crew that we have. I'm really excited to see what this season will bring us. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share for more all-seasons hiking shows. We'll see you in the next one.